Hey guys, Will King Kanji here, and we're talking about the recent events of a Dragon Ball Super episode 34. So if you haven't seen that, please go and check that out first, because we're going to be referencing that episode a lot. So, currently, I'm joined by the amazing analysis artist, Dimsy's Domain, for this video. Thanks for joining us, Dims. I'm very flattered, and you flatter me too much, man. <laughs> Hello, guys. How are you? Uh, also, I like your new nickname as well. I hope you do too, because I'm probably not going to stop with Dims. Dims. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> I, I hope that was an okay sort of like a yeah okay no no, 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 no. Okay. it's fine it's fine you can, you can say whatever you want I'm fine with it mate it's your planet it's your planet <laughs> it's great to have you back man so Anytime, man. in this video we're going to be covering the frost heel turn for lack of a better words or yes, the twist so where he turned evil during the episode and we're going to be covering what we liked and what we disliked about it so are you all set for this man I'm set and <laughs> I guess. Set. Should I start you off with the negativity? Oh, that's... Uh, okay, let on. the negativity ooze in. Well, first <laughs> things first, it was a lack of creative... It was not creative enough. Some way say that, hey, you had the chance and you had the opportunity to stray away from Frieza. We know Frieza from Dragon Ball Z and then Dragon Ball Super as well as the movies. Now we've gone back to square one, back to Frieza's character. What do you think about that, that little argument that people are saying? Yeah, I mean, I can totally understand where some people are coming with that because you've been built up to believe that this guy is a, a good guy. He's like, you know, he's almost like the Hulk Hogan of Universe 6. Like, everyone loves him. Yeah. And then he does the NWO turn on everyone and everyone's like, oh. <laughs> you can imagine him kissing babies and suddenly when he does the heel turn, just chucks the baby away. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, I think it's one of those things, like, I can understand why people thinking they're recycling the same Freezer character, although, um, you know, I've got some other opinions that I'll throw in there later as well uh, that are positives on the matter. But, yeah, so, I mean, just to even that out, was there something you, you liked about it that you wanted to chuck in there? I like the fact that no one expected it and the reason why no one expected it partly was because of the spoilers. The spoiler names, the alleged spoilers, which were fake. There was fake alleged spoilers that came out which said the names and the titles for the next few episodes and all of us were thinking, oh crap, this this frost fight is going to be over and done with within one episode. So yeah. no one is expecting, no one is expecting it. I mean, so. it was one of those things because to be honest, I read them and I kind of went, huh. I mean, I know the pacing has been bad, but seriously, three episodes? I don't think so. And we, 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 I was thinking, like, this is going to be done within 14 episodes as well. Super's going to be finished within episode 42 or whatever. Yeah, and, it's it's going to be, like, shorter than GT. <laughs> <laughs> and GT was cancelled. It was forced to be short. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, oh, it's just something else. But, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll mention something else I wasn't too keen on. It was literally, um, which is kind of, actually, to be honest, I'm kind of repeating something a second here. But the what can you do with the Frieza character that hasn't already been done? I mean, Frieza's character has done everything pretty much at Frieza. I mean, Christ's sake, he's come back three times. Three times. You know, and that's only the, the, the real times. You know, that's not even including the, uh, the, non, uh, the filler kind of ways of doing it. Uh, so, I mean, what else can you honestly do with well, Freeze's character? Well, to balance that out and give a positive note on in that sense was they did do that little interesting backstory where, you know, Freeza is a little bit more blunt and he spearheads the whole, I'm evil and you're going to bow down to me no matter what. Whereas <laughs> Frost, he likes to operate in the shadows where, you know, Freeza, he, he buys this planet, he's a planet merchant, a space pirate pretty much. But Frost is a little bit more low-key where he starts the wars privately and he ends them publicly. He's like a super-powered Mr. Satan with evil intentions. My cat's called Loki. Loki. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I'd mention that. <laughs> yeah, and Loki is his sidekick as well and they go around conquering these planets <laughs> on planet mayonnaise as they team up with Kabe and yeah. <laughs> Dude, I would buy that if that was a spin-off. I would read that. <laughs> or maybe, maybe you know, Loki's the god of destruction for another universe. Who knows? Oh, man, my cat's been doing all sorts of shit when I haven't been watching it. But, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, let's talk about another couple likes as well. I mean, uh, one thing that I really did like about this setup was it set up the chance for Vegeta to beat the crap out of him. I mean, if he'd have stayed a good guy and just kind of, like, you know, lost or whatever... We wouldn't have got a chance to see Vegeta, you know, really 
really bring out that Vegeta character we love so much. I mean, obviously, so far in Super, his character has been rather watered down because we've only ever really seen him do comical moments or kind of angry bits. I mean, he did that amazing fight scene at the end with Freezer, but it was just kind of, you know, it was the end of a penultimately boring arc. Um, it was a horrible arc. And I guess um, uh, if I were to quickly mention and butt in and say that the fight against Freezer was showing the more savage side of Vegeta. And in that sense, it does show his more callous, calculating side. However, that arc left a bad taste in all of our heads and mouths and whatever. Yeah, Is Frost being... Um, reverting back or resembling a Frieza-like character, is does that make us suffer or judge him a little bit more unfairly because of that little hangover we had from the resurrection of F arc? Mm, it's a very interesting way of looking at it. I mean, yeah, I, I'd say that a lot of people are kind of like, oh, for God's sake, we've only just got done with this, you know, sort of thing. I don't want to watch a rehash of this. So, yeah, I can imagine that that would be a factor to ease in. But on a completely other spectrum... One thing I really did like, and this is kind of... We wouldn't have seen this necessarily had Frost not done it. One thing I did like was it really showed the difference between Shampa and Vados' characters. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when when he found out that Frost was, you know, an evil emperor of the universe, and he turns around to Vados and he's like, why would you hire someone like that? And Vados was like, well, you wanted somebody who would win at any cost. And Vados just didn't seem to give a shit. And I mean... Besides it makes from, you wonder, doesn't it? It does yeah. make you wonder, what is she playing at? But at the same time, uh, this is going to be something that I'm sure we can get into in a minute. Um, the polar opposites kind of theory and stuff like that has been flying around. Vados' his character that was portrayed like that was a bit more like Beerus's character. And Whis's character it seemed to be a little bit more like Shampa's character in the sense that Shampa was a bit shocked at the fact that they'd had like you know an evil person with them, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So <laughs> He was ready to blow them away. Yeah, yeah, he was ready to kill him. I, to be perfectly honest, I mean, part of me, although, although I love to see Vegeta kick his ass, I was kind of marking out at the idea of Shampa killing him. <laughs> yeah, because we've seen... We've seen savagery from Beerus, and although we've seen slight savagery from Shampa, whereby he destroy, well, he gets Vados to destroy planets, it would be nice for Shampa to have a little bit of a evil or badass moment in that sense. It would have also been a really good way of putting him over to show how strong he is. And in the same sense of that, we did see in the next episode preview, um, and I can't confirm this because you know they do have a habit of jumbling up the the order of which these things happen in the episodes, but it did look as though Hit was going to be unleashing some sort of power or some technique, and the next clip showed Frost looking terrified. Uh, so it was very much reminiscent to me from what I could see of the uh, the Vegeta and Nappa scene. Abs- yes, Hit, um, Hit comes across as a guy who only bothers when something's on his level or something has someone has wronged him personally, and yeah, he comes across as a person who takes no nonsense and is like, you know what, you've messed up, you're getting punished. I exactly could... like yeah Vegeta Nappa. Yeah, sorry, sorry about no, that. No, sorry. Right. I could see if they uh, give him a reason to bring Goku back into this because of disqualification, and then Frost still doesn't beat Vegeta. I could see Hit getting wound up because now he's pushed their team even further back from starting off in an advantage of a four against five team, and now they're sort of, they're trailing because of Frost. I could imagine Hit losing his temper with that. Personally, I disagree. Kit Ooh. comes across as a person where I don't even know why he's there. He doesn't probably know why he's there. He's just there for... <laughs> I don't even know why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> but why am I here? Yeah. But he, he, it's like he's here to observe strong fighters. That's why he opened his eyes slightly when he saw Goku turn Super Saiyan. So whether he's like an enforcer for good or a secret bad guy, it's, it's yet to be seen. But obviously from the next episode preview... He's going to have words, and I, I do think, and I've we spoke about this off air, where, whereby he may have the final killer blow against Frost. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's possible. They obviously that's kind of what it, sh- it suggested when it had shown the implications of the actual footage being in that order, but um, it could be to try and throw the scent off the trail. I mean, let's be honest, they did just troll everybody successfully with Frost. A character. proper trolling, yes. A pr- Look, whether you like it or not. No one expected it. That's the thing. No. Because no. the thing is, I'm, I'm, I'm seriously on the border. I don't know if I enjoyed it a lot 
or really despised it. it the, the lack of creativity and going back to a a character that character that's been done many many times over annoy me or was the actual me not expecting the heel turn it, i did i enjoy it i don't know but what's your thoughts i know you thoroughly enjoyed yeah, it right i did enjoy it yeah you're right and it's i don't know whether it's the fact that i enjoyed the entire episode i don't know if it's just the fact that that scene left me sort of like what I mean, I was just kind of... When I first saw it, obviously, without the subtitles, I was excited to see it then. Um, mm. And therefore, I mean, that means that without the dialogue, because it's very hard to understand everything. I mean, a lot of it you can piece together contextually. However, even just from the situation that you could see, I was like, oh, no, I can tell what's going on here. And yeah. that was just a really interesting way of doing it. And I, I thought that, that the way that they had done it uh, was one of the best unexpected twists that Super has given us so far. And I think that in terms of how the story has been structured thus far, it was it was like a point that everyone's going to remember about Super. Agreed. But here's the thing, and this is where you're going to have to go a bit, a bit of a what if or theorize with me, where what if he stayed good and he took the honorable loss? Would it have been better or worse? I guess you have more talking points that he's gone evil, but at the same time, what if they went by another route? Well, they did go another route because Frieza, he kills them. Well, he, he does anything to win. Frost had a third party. He had a weapon with him. It, it was new, but at the same time, what if he stayed completely good as a enforcer and he takes the loss honorably? Would it have been better for Frost or worse? I don't well, know. Personally, I think it would have been worse, uh, and here's the reasons why: is because I'm gonna I'm gonna relate this to wrestling now. So if any of you guys don't like wrestling, I do apologize, but I'm hoping you'll follow my my wavelength. Um, right, Frost's character as a good guy, if he lose, if he lost honorably in that fight and just kind of you know lost decently and was uh, beaten by Piccolo or whatever, that would pretty much be the end of his character arc. There'd be not really much more he could do because they're probably not going to see him again when he heads back into the Universe 6. And then uh, there's no reason to bring him back up. He would get the, the sort of Tien and Yamcha treatment where he just kind of fades into obscurity or especially for a better kind of case of this would be Android 18. She was mm. such a badass in that scene, in that uh, that arc. And then all of a sudden she just kind of fell into obscurity. And I feel the same thing would have happened with Frost. However, in the terms of wrestling, when you're trying to get the most out of a character, you have him either as a face and then you have him as a heel, so a good guy and a bad guy. So you try and get everything out of him before, you, before you're done with him, basically. You try and get the, the most out of his character as you possibly can. And you're going to try both of those things before you just kind of cast him to the curb. But if they're planning on feeding him to another character like Hit to put him over to make it look like how strong Hit is it would be a very good way of doing it because then they've done everything that they could possibly do with Frost. Agreed. And let's say to touch on the whole wrestling term, if you were to uh, put, a, put a wrestler's name to Frost, who would you put Frost as then, as a wrestler? Ooh, um, that's a I, good question. I, I would probably think maybe it's a Randy Orton where he'll be the bland face or maybe not the best face, <laughs> but he'll be an absolute predator because... <laughs> Because, you know what, it's proper snaky-like. And, yeah, he would, he, would, he would make a good Randy Orton. I yeah, think. I think he could do that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, like, you know, <laughs> he he had the Viper look from, like, 2009 when he turned into his final form and he had yeah. kind of, like, the shaved head, like, perfectly over. <laughs> That's true. Or, or maybe the ult, ultimate opportunist edge. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, I know. yeah. I don't it's know. a difficult one, isn't it? Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to talk about that some other time, man. But yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> which closing... characters of anime are wrestlers? <laughs> so yeah, pretty much final thoughts, man. As it stands at this second, what would you say you felt about it? Do you like it or do you not? You know what? I'm gonna have to say I like it simply from the fact that no one expected it, and you're completely right. I'm gonna look back at the Sean Park and and one of the points I'm gonna say is, oh, hey, do you remember that time where no one expected that Frost is gonna become a bad guy? Yeah, and I mean, do you think? I think for one reason that's why the pacing was so fast in the previous episodes is because the anime wanted to surprise you with that. They didn't want you to catch that and have it spoiled for you by the manga. Um, so who knows? Because the pacing was a lot better in thirty four. Yeah, I mentioned earlier how maybe um, a negative could stem from the fact that we're we're uh, suffering still from the hangover from Resurrection of F, and then Frost reminds us of, reminds us of how terrible Freezer was. 
However, and you mentioned this, you touched upon this, where what if we really enjoyed Frosty's heel turn purely because of how good the episode was? Yes, yes. And, <laughs> and, and that's, where, that's what confused me because I don't know if I enjoyed it a lot or not. I don't know, and I don't know why. I really can't place the reason why. But one thing I have to give credit is, yeah, the whole unexpected factor to make him back to a rehashed, reused one. So it kind of balances itself out where yeah. I hate this bit, I love this bit. But yeah, what about you? Yeah. What's your final thoughts on this thing? I personally got to say I like it. Uh, it pretty much comes to me. I had more, re- when I was sitting down to think about talking points for this video, I came up with more reasons that I liked than I disliked. So generally speaking, you kind of got to go with it, really. I it's mean, true. like, I, I could think of more things that it did that benefited the series than hindered it. But that's just my own thoughts. I mean, guys, if you've got any alternative comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. I mean, we'd love to hear your thoughts on it as well. Don't think that my channel is all about my thoughts. It's uh, <laughs> I'm just as interested in hearing in yours and i'm sure dimsy is as well of course of course and on that note guys please please go over to dimsy's channel check him out puts a lot of effort into his channel so he's had a recent burst in subscribers as well so i know you guys have been digging him i know you guys have been digging Thank him. You. <laughs> all right then guys well please feel free to leave a like comment and subscribe to start training on world king kanji's planet and we'll catch you all in the next video bye see you later <laughs>